Hey, gang, it's time for the Stoned Ranger. A cloud of hoofs, a speed of dust, and a plowed... Ohio River! This is the legend of the West's greatest hero. The story of the Stoned Ranger. The desert sun beat down fiercely as the amusing and disgraceful masked rider and his red-skinned body servant wended their way across the plains. Suddenly, it was all too plain. The masked man called a halt. Whoa! Whoa! Pull up, big fella! Whoa! Yeah. What seemed to be trouble, Stone Ranger? The trouble is, Pronto, you aren't a woman. Nah, tough flint, Kimu Sahib, buona massa. I've been on this series ten years now, and I've only played opposite three women. A hatchet-faced sheriff's wife, a chief's old squaw, and that girl last episode who fled back to Philadelphia and became a nun. Puba hopla wash tane, which means pound sand, white eyes. Suddenly, the masked rider thought he heard a sound in the distance. Wait a minute. Uh, I think I hear a sound in the distance. Ah, you're right. Hit wagon train. Here it come now. Hmm, but I don't see anything. Take off mask, White Eyes. Hit all right. I know who you are. Oh, yes. There it is. I can see it now. <laughs> you look funny with white strip around eyes, like negative raccoon. We'd better go down and investigate. Investigate? Me no savvy. What mean investigate? You see one wagon train, you see them all. But me go along. After all, me paid to keep eye on you by parents at home in Oshkosh. Hmm. Oshkosh. Nice name. Me like. Indian name. Slurring his magnificent speed, the masked man sprang into action. Oh, hello, Up, up, and away! That not your line. Meanwhile below, the wagon train drove into a circle. Look out for that circle! An Indian with a masked man. Whoa! 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 Look, he's riding with a heathen Indian. Anyone who'd ride with a heathen Indian has no religion. I'll get my gun. Oh, you offed my noble steed. Oh, trigger, rats. Trigger? Uh, you better wear hat in desert, Stone Ranger. Peace, brother. Look. Funny hat, beard, must be hippies. You rock and roll band? Don't be silly, Pronto. They are obviously meth freaks. Hey. Huh? You are both wrong. We are religious freaks. We are of the mammon faith. You mean you go to Salt Lake City? No, that is another sect. We are going to Reno, there to erect a mammon temple. You mean you're... Yes, I am Getem Young. Ah, uh. Me could think of better pun. Not on radio, you stupid Indian. Squeamish white man, sit in corner, read dirty book. Allow me to introduce Hildegard, Bessie, Joni, Lois, Beverly, Rosie, Frida, Janet, Francine, Trixie, and Little Joe. I don't pay any attention to Little Joe. <laughs> Pronto, do you realize what this means? Afraid so. Me, odd man out. No like Indian here. Me go eat worms. Uh. Suddenly I feel... Very religious. Let us pray. Oh, Lord. No, 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 not you. I want to pray with her. Wait, one Mormon. Aren't you the Stone Ranger? Why, yes. How, how did you know? I could tell by your paisley mask. Hmm, I never thought about that. Listen, you've got to help us. Huh? Last night we were shot up by Indians. They've been making hits for days. I don't know how much longer we can go on. Hmm. Those few of us that can walk can barely function. I thought you looked strung out. We've tried everything, but even the seagulls couldn't beat them off. They're much bigger than locusts. Those arrows, we were overwhelmed. Something they put in the points. Ah, oh, bummer. If you could help us out, we'd be eternally grateful. I like the Indian. That's enough, little Joe. Hmm, well, since you put it that way, uh, I don't know how I could refuse. Ah, uh, easy. You could just refuse. Shut up, Pronto, and wipe that worm off your chin. Huh? Uh. Using a little horse that the mammons had given him to get to the Indians, the stone ranger and his faithful Indian slave, Pronto, sped off across the desert. Ah, <gasps> uh, 
that Shetland funnier looking horse than that burrow, Stone Ranger. Your boots drag in sand. Uh, yes, he, he is a funny horse. Uh, I wonder what this cask is around his neck. Ah, maybe fire water. Keep away from that, Pronto. You know Indians can't hold their liquor. Oh, nuts, Stone Ranger. You such a square. Me hold with both hands. <laughs> at length, our integrated heroes arrived at the Indian village. There they met with the leader of the Patchouli Indians, Chief Product. How, Chief? How? Me not know. Me to all. Me forget. Hmm. Uh, well, well, Chief, I must talk to you about the moron wagon train. They not moron. They mammon. Got plenty wife. No moron. Heap smart. Step into toupee. Keep wigwam. <laughs> Why, it's magnificent in here. The beads, the blankets, the psychedelic posters. This, my lovely daughter, Lola Toshi Nene Sokituya, which mean Louise. I yank, trade water jug for Hershey bar, got gum. Woohoo! Keep hands off, Randy White Eyes. My name isn't Randy. You know what I mean. All right, cool it. We have powwow now. Smoke em peace pipe. Why, thanks, Chief. <coughs> oh, tobacco! No money, no smoky. <coughs> uh, Chief, these uh, raids on the wagon trains must stop. You can't go around shooting up innocent people. It not my fault. Huh? Me old man. Me stay home. Me pacifist. Huh. It my son. Uncut horse. Hmm. He shoot up wagon train. He love to shoot up. Huh? He shoot up anything. Peanut butter. Hmm. Pepsi cola. You name it. Ah, uh, bad scene. Well, uh, can't you do anything about it? No communication. Big generation gap. Me, Spentero, him, we said yours. But Chief, doesn't tribal law make any provision for this? Perhaps you could uh, impose a curfew. Only one way. Trial by combat. Duel to death. Winner take all. Winner take all? Uh, I don't understand. All what? It means take all you can get, white eyes. <laughs> Keep hands to sell. If you live, your time will come. And so the crowds assembled at the Indians' place of tribal wombat combat. The Patchouli Bowl. Uncut horse! Uncut horse! Raw! Raw! Uncut horse! Give me an S! S! Give me a T! T! Give me an O! O! Give me an N! N! Give me an E! E! Give me a D! D! What does it spell? Stone! Stone Ranger! Yay! Bad boy. In this corner, wearing the yellow breech clout, the pride of the patchouli Indians, at six foot eight, two hundred and thirty pounds, uncut horse. And in this corner, wearing the forked tongue, the old fake kid, the pale face Greek, at five four and a half, a hundred and fifty pounds, the Stone Ranger. Yes, Stone Ranger. Yippee! Uh. All right, boys, I want this to be a clean fight. Are your tomahawks clean? Are your brass knuckles clean? Are your fingernails clean? Are your razor blades and the toes of your moccasins clean? I'm clean. I'm clean. Suddenly sensing his opponent's extreme youth, the masked man felt a sudden twinge of fair play. V Pi. Uh, well, you're uh, extremely youthful for a renegade. I don't know if it's sporting for me to fight an adolescent. Who you call an effervescent? Wild eyes, goy, hunky. I'm a brave, and don't you forget it. Come on, you chicken. Let's wail. Let's fight. Let's do it, stale face. Come on, face off, face off. Goaded by the renegade's taunts, the stone ranger leapt into the fray. You've got to be taught a lesson, Renegade. Now I'm going to beat the pemmican out of you. Suddenly landing a lucky blow, Uncut Horse felled the Stone Ranger. The masked man was in a fix. Now I'm going to slice my some white meat. 
man. Don't let him do that, Stone Ranger. Kick him in Gostone away. I may be down, but I'm not out. Watch out! Yeah! Make a stone away! Daddy! Daddy! Yay! The Stone Ranger win! Him kick and cut horse. Later, Chief Product spoke. Now it time for big tribal dance. Always willing to celebrate another piece. Get Poster out immediately. Rick Griffin, Moscoso collaboration. Send Braves to town with throwaways. Put whole wagon train on guest list. So that night, the Indians and the white man had a party. Well, Chief, we really appreciate you getting the whole wagon train in free. But don't you think your brave should get haircuts? No, no, get them young. Great spirit pull brave to heaven by long hair. Crew cut, go other way. Down trip. Oh, yes, we did quite how well. The bonfire is really amazing. It makes everyone flicker. Quite an effect. That strobe fire from burning strobe plant. Don't look directly into flame. It mess up alpha waves. Alpha waves? What do you mean? It's not matter. Matter is energy. I don't understand. White men not get it for maybe a hundred years. Maybe you never get it. Meanwhile, in another part of the party, the masked men and Indian were saddling up their horses. You feel better now you swing with baby. Yes, a beautiful girl, a simple girl. Ah, uh, she be complicated soon. Mm, oh, uh, well, uh, it's time to leave now, Pronto. After all, our work is done here. Oh, hello, River! Get him up, load. Say, Chief, we owe a lot to him. Who was that masked man, anyhow? Eh? What masked man? White eyes? <laughs>